All right, this is called Curious George. Home Run. Adaption by Erica Zappi. This is a bilingual book. Bilingual means two languages. Today, George was going to his first ball game. His friend Marco was playing. Marco's Marco's team was the Cubby Bears. They were playing the Tiger Babies. Marco wanted to hit a home run. He practiced batting. Uh oh, the scorekeeper was sick. Will you help, George? Asked the coach. Of course. George is always happy to help. Every time a team scores, you hang a new number, said Marco. That seemed easy, but there were lots of numbers. George waited and waited. Sometimes baseball moves very slowly, but by third inning, there were still no numbers to hang. Finally, there was some action. Marco got a hit. His teammate got one too. Marco slid into home plate and scored one run. Now George could put a number on the scoreboard. He pulled the number five out of the box and put it up. That's the wrong number," said Marco. George pulled another number from the box. He put up the number eight. Use a lower number. You need to put the numbers up in order," said Marco. Order? What does that mean? George was curious. George was curious. He didn't know what that meant. Marco showed George how to put the numbers in order, like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you try," said Marco. George practiced putting the numbers in order. It worked. He kept score until the game was tied at four-four. George heard a lot of noise coming from the snack counter. He could help hand out snacks. George handed out the food order for number seventeen, then fourteen. Wait, a customer said. The number fourteen comes before seventeen. Yeah, and twelve comes before thirteen. Exclaimed another. George was confused. Do you know your numbers? The girl at the snack bar asked. He counted on his fingers from one to ten. Here's how to find out what comes after one and zero or ten, she said. She held her hand over the one in the number eleven and the one. In the number twelve. Oh, see how she did that. So this is a number eleven. So which one? If this number is eleven and this is twelve, and she holds her hand over the first number on both, then it says one two. See, so that's how you know which is first and which is second, right? One two. <clears throat> Now George knew that eleven comes before twelve, just like one comes before two. He gave the customers their snacks in order. When George returned to the game, Marco was at bat, but he had hurt his foot. George would run the bases for Marco. If Marco got three strikes, he would get an out. Strike one, strike two, crack! Marco hit the ball hard. George had to run very fast. There he goes. Wait, is his ball his ball cracked? No, no. It it made a sound when it hit the bat. That's all. George made it around the bases. It was Marco's first home run. George was happy to change the scoreboard. The Cubby Bears had won five to four.
<laughs> See how you do that with the numbers? So sometimes I used to, when I was little, I got really confused about once I got to 10, it was hard because it's like, what comes next, right? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Okay, 12. so 11 is after 10, right? And yeah. a 10 together is a 1 and a 0. So what would be the next, what would 11 look like? It would have this one, the 1 in the 10, but then the 0 would start with a 1 again. So it would be two 1's together, huh? That's 11. And then comes the 2. See? 1 and 2 together. That's 12. And then what's 1 and 3 together? 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. 1, 3. That's 13. Like this. Now what's after 13? 14. So we put 1, 4. That's 14. 1, 5 is 15. 16. 1 and 6 is 16. 1 and 7 together is 17. 17, 18, 18 19, 19 20. 20. And then, see, we keep the 2, and then we start all over. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. See, it just keeps going up. <laughs> You're so smart. Here's something extra, rules of the game. The end. Thanks for watching.